What's my story? So I got a question from one of my new YouTube subscribers, Kenneth. Love you guys, welcome to the team. And Kenneth is 19 years old, he wants to become a success in an online business and he wanted to know what my story was. So I'm gonna share it. Now for those of you who've been on my channel for longer, you've heard me talk about my story in a couple different ways, but you're gonna get it again because Kenneth asked, so here we go. So Kenneth, this is for you. I'm gonna tell two stories, okay? The first one is about how I became an entrepreneur and the second was how I found my passion about help, helping other entrepreneurs. So starting up, when I was young, I had a whole bunch of different business ideas. Uh, most of them small things like selling art and doing garage sales and selling baseball cards, small ventures. But I never thought that entrepreneurship would be a career path for me. I never thought this is what I would be doing for the rest of my life. That changed in university. When I was in university, I met up with two friends and they had a business that, that they were trying to get off the ground as a software company and they put so much into this company but it wasn't taken off. And so I joined on the business side. I didn't know anything about software, I didn't know anything about biotechnology, but I came out on the business side and said, hey, I'd like to try to help. And up until that point, I always thought I'd have a corporate job. I looked at my, my high school yearbook recently and I said, where do you see yourself in 10 years? You know that stuff? And I wrote down, I see myself as a VP at a major investment bank. That's what I thought I was gonna do. I was gonna be in the banking world. And it changed university. I started with this company and I, and I just, I loved it. And at the start, I wasn't making any money. You know, I was barely surviving, not even getting enough to survive. I, I'm at $300 a month that I was taking out from this company. And, and just doing everything I could just to get by, just to scrape by an existence, you know, eating beans for lunch and, and the way I was living was just terrible. <laughs> but I didn't really mind because I was doing something that I loved doing, that I hadn't experienced this kind of excitement and passion before. And when I was graduating university, I got called on by two companies who I would have previously loved to work for. It was McKinsey Consulting, the number one strategic consulting company in the world, and uh, Merrill Lynch, one of the top investment banks in the world. And if you asked me just a couple years before, I would have been drooling, like what, really? These companies are coming, asking me to work for them? And my friends were all jealous and, and I was a little sad, I don't know, I wasn't as excited. And they flew me to New York and they put me up in the Waldorf Astoria Hotel and they schmoozed me and, and I just, I don't know, I just kind of bombed everything, I wasn't, I wasn't into it. Like why, why am I, this is my dream, right? Like I was growing up thinking this is what I was gonna do with my life and here it is, the opportunity in front of me and I just, meh, I didn't do any preparation. And it's because I had discovered this business and my friends were saying, what, like what are you, are you out of your mind? Like these guys paying 80 to $100,000 starting salary and you're at this company making 300 bucks a month and this is, that's the choice you're making? What's wrong with you? But I had, to, I had to do it, I had to give it a shot. I don't know, there's something in me that said, I, I, I'm gonna live with regret if I don't try this out. I could always go back next year and, and, and take a job, but I, I don't know, I have to try this out. I know it doesn't make sense in my head, but I have to try this. I owe it to myself to try this. And so I did, and I never went back to, to getting a job again. Uh, eventually things worked out with that business and I built it up and, and we went from having you know little sales to building it up to having customers in 30 countries and I sold to NASA and Johnson Johnson and got tons of media and I and my company got acquired and after I sold my business I was asked to do a lot of speaking you know it was a young entrepreneur success story I was uh, 22 23 doing a lot of interviews and one of the things that saved me through my business to that point where I thought like this is not gonna work, I, I, I need to make money to survive. Like I, I'm not talking millions of dollars, I need like money to survive, right? One of the things that helped get me through that crisis in my business was modeling success. I looked at the guys who had built software companies, I realized I'm not the first guy to try to sell software before. People have done this before and I can model their success. And I looked at Bill Gates from Microsoft, and I looked at McAfee, I looked at Intuit, I looked at how they got started and applied those strategies to my business and I started seeing some results. And so after I sold my business, I thought this would be really cool to share with other people. This, this really helped me and I think it could help other entrepreneurs. And one day the YMCA, I guess they saw one of 
you know, my interviews or whatever if they're selling my company. And they said, we'd like you to come and speak to our group of entrepreneurs. And they're all, you know, small entrepreneurs just getting started up, just an idea. And, and a lot of them didn't have lofty ambitions. I, I want to be a dog walker or, or something else. I said, yeah, I'd love to. Be, this is great. I'd be happy to share my experience. And I spent all this time working on my slides and my preparation. And I wanted to pack everything I had in my head into this presentation. It was going to be amazing. And I started promoting it to the people that I knew and said, come on out in my audience and talked about it in the media and the YMCA promoted it to their, their audience, their group of entrepreneurs that they already had. And the day came, the presentation, and, and I was nervous and excited and my heart was pounding. I remember walking to the door and I'm, I'm sweating a little bit and I, I wanted to just provide great value. And I get in the elevator and I go up to the room that has my you know, name on it and with this big room full of chairs and I walk in the door and, and my heart stops because only three people showed up to that first event. Three people for a free event with all this promotion happening. Three people, are you kidding me? I'm like, and I thought this, this, what, this was a stupid idea. Like, what did I just do? What did I sign up for? You know, I didn't, I didn't want this failure on my record. And from the outside world, that would be seen as a big failure, right? free event, weeks of promotion from two different people, two different parties, and you can only get three people to show up, that's a failure. But I had to, you know, I was there, people showed up, so I had to, I had to do it for the three people. And uh, it, was, it was amazing. You know, I was nervous getting started, but, but it, it was an amazing event, and I changed the lives of those three people that day. And they walked out having answers and having confidence and going off to you know being ready to go and do their business and having helped those people overcome their problems and have the confidence to, to keep going inspired me and and after that presentation i knew i had to keep doing this i knew i had to keep helping entrepreneurs i didn't know how i would do it i didn't know if it'd be presentations or you know like twitter didn't really exist back then i didn't i didn't know how I would do it, but I knew I had to keep doing this. And even though I had no idea how I would make money from this, right? Like nobody came to a free event and entrepreneurs don't have money to spend in the first place. So what am I doing trying to help entrepreneurs and make money? Even if I couldn't figure out a way to make money, I realized I had to keep doing this because I needed to get that feeling again. I love that feeling of helping entrepreneurs. I kept working at it and I kept doing things that weren't for the money but were for helping entrepreneurs and slowly built up a website and built up a, a following and started doing videos and more presentations and it's become what it is now, right? We have a million views on YouTube. I've done all these videos, 20 million people on the website. And I wish I could say, this was my vision. You know, I had it, mm, I, knew, I knew what was gonna happen. This was all planned out from the start. I'm a genius, but I had no idea, you know, and, and I, I didn't know if I was going to make any money from this at all. And that's going to happen in your business. You know, the plan that you have going in is never the plan that you end up with. Businesses continue to always change and evolve. And you have to run with that. And my business is not the same as it was 10 years ago, 12 years ago. It will constantly be a reflection of me and my thinking and what I want to do to help entrepreneurs. So that's my story. Two quick stories. Hopefully that helped inspire you and give you some knowledge to help you go out and, and build your business. Thanks for the great question and, uh, and believe, you know, believe in what you're doing. Believe that it's important. Believe it's going to work out. For those of you watching and you like the video, please give it a thumbs up below. You have a comment, leave it below. I love seeing the comments come in. They make my day every day. You have a question for me, leave it in the comment section below and I'll do a video response just like I did today. And subscribe to the channel up there if you uh, wanna see more videos like this. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.